Now let's look at the mileage report template at SharePointDashboards.com. This template is a grid style interface that allows you to put line item entries to track mileage. This is especially useful for situations where you have workers that are needing to travel around a lot, say to customer sites, and they're going to need to be reimbursed for the mileage on their vehicle. The number of miles goes in the second column, or uh, alternatively, of course, you can use kilometers as well. And then the mileage rate is at the bottom, so that does a roll-up calculation based on the total units distance, and then that multiplied by the rate gives you total, uh, which would be the reimbursement for the mileage report. In order to use this template, you do need to download the reported or the provided STP file that's referred to as mileage report.stp and you will need to install this list template to your site. If you need more information about installing the list template, follow the link at the bottom which says manage list templates that'll explain just exactly what you need to do. I've already uploaded the list template so I'm going to go over to SharePoint and we'll walk through the steps. In SharePoint, I'm going to go to the site contents and in order to load the SharePoint list template, I do need to go to the classic SharePoint view. At that point, I can click add an app. And if you just added your template, you're going to see it on the end of the list if you page through all these options. So there it is, mileage report. And I'm going to call this tech team mileage and create. That should create quickly and once that's done you can scroll all the way to the bottom and in the very bottom left corner click on exit classic experience that'll return you back to the regular view. Now I can scroll through the site content screen and I just need to find that list that I created which is called tech team mileage. Here's my list, and I've already got a template applied on this one. You're going to go ahead and apply over uh, your template that you've created. So let me go ahead and go to report. And I'm going to um, apply that to my record. It's actually showing me a cached view. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so I do want to put in a dummy record, and so I'll do that right now. You just need the name of the person in the first field, and then the start date. So I'll say this is starting July 1st and ending at the end of that month, the 31st. That's all I need to get started. Okay, and then I'm going to go to this report view and I can go back over to SharePoint dashboards and you do have multiple options. I'm going to stick with the default template um, so I can just click on copy template, follow the instructions in the pop-up window, go back to SharePoint, click on your list view drop down, click on format current view, then advanced mode, select all, paste, and save. There we go, that's the report we saw flash up on our screen a second ago. Let's go ahead and check this out and see how it works. Okay, so I put in my line item entries for travel for each day. So we'll do July 1, and we'll say I traveled 87 miles, and this was for work, and I just put in a description, travel to customer site, okay? And also you can use this copy button on the side if you want to copy things like description. Maybe these are similar except for the mileage. So maybe on the second day um, it was a different distance. And then those are rolled up at the bottom. There is a rate field at the bottom for a calculation for reimbursement. As an example, for IRS purposes in the United States, the 2023 rate is uh, 65.5, so uh, as in 65.5 cents. So I do 0. 0.655, hit enter, and now I know what the reimbursement is uh, based on the miles traveled. You can 
show or hide a different number of fields depending on how much needs to go in the report. That can be as many as 30. Okay, so I'm going to move that back up. The other thing that you can do, you can accordion, expand, or collapse the report. That would be useful if you have a lot of reports. The category field is a text field by default. If instead you want to define your own set of categories, you can change that to a choice field. The way that you would do that is to go into the settings and you can go to the category fields. These are text. You can change those to choice fields. So just switch to choice and then you can put your own options and then copy and paste that. Do the same thing for every one of those category fields. There's uh, 30 rows, so you need to repeat that action. Another thing you might want to do is default that mileage rate because of course that's going to repeat and tend to be the same. And if you would like to do that, if you go to the bottom of the list, you will find the rate field and um, you can go ahead and set a default value. So you could put 0.655 in here and make it show up by default every time a report gets created. And that's everything you need to know about the mileage reports. Everything is editable um, directly from the grid view. You can change the name. You can change the dates up at the top just by clicking on them. You can change the status of your mileage report. And then, of course, you can make your line item entries in the rows. So a simple, easy, user-friendly friendly way to re record uh, mileage and submit those for reimbursement. This report is available at SharePointDashboards.com. If you don't yet have your login, you can get access to 20 free templates. And then uh, you can go on and get a subscription if you like, like access to all of the templates. As of this video, there are 143 templates. This is one of a set of four closely related reporting templates, which you'll find in the reporting section. I hope you find that useful and you're able to include it in your own SharePoint environment. And good luck.